I wanted to do a video series on the funny things that noobs do in EFT. I know the term noob is somewhat archaic, but fuck it, who cares really. These are just a couple things that always give me a laugh when I see it happen, and I hope you get a kick out of it too. If you're a new player and you're watching this, you've probably done at least one of these. And at this point, hopefully you know better. That being said, let's start things off with number 5. Putting 366 TKM in a 762 platform. I mainly find this issue on newer players using their scav run, but I've seen a couple new players that shoot at me and their weapon just doesn't go off. Upon further examination, their bullets are for the wrong weapon. Here's the AKM, and here's the Vepper AKM 209. They look almost the literal same, but one of them slings excellent lead, and the other one makes you excellent dead. It's time to stop! This goes much further than just using the literal wrong bullets, but I won't cover that too much in this particular video. I did this on my first ever scav run. You typically only make this mistake once because it feels fucking horrible. Number four, using terrible bullets. Speaking of bullets, I've gotten in many fights with new players, and it seems like whenever I get hit 15 to 20 times, I just don't die. Upon killing my enemy, I'll see that they're using PP rounds in their AK-74U, or some other low-tier ammunition with virtually no effectiveness. Bullets are, by far, the most effective means of winning in this game. This isn't about putting the wrong bullets in the gun, which I explained in the previous entry. It's about using ammunition that isn't viable given the current metagame. Always use the best bullets you can for the gun that you are using. You'll win more fights with a stock weapon and good bullets than a good weapon with bad bullets. If you want to learn more about the best bullets that are currently in the game, see my video in the top right corner now. Number three, bringing extra Mosin mags for your Mosin. The Mosin has an internal magazine that you can remove in your character menu to fill up with bullets. You can also choose to spawn in with it empty and load your weapon as you run to your objective. I have seen several... I can't even fucking talk. I have seen several low-level players bring extra internal magazines with them into a raid, and when I see it after killing them, my heart just sinks. Man, this man is having an issue. Oh no, Mosin man, what are you doing? That's not how you do the Mosin! <laughs> Mosin man, no! I've also seen new players do this with SKS 10 round internal mags and MP133 6 round shotgun internal mags. You don't need magazines for this weapon, just the extra bullets. Quit breaking my heart. As for a bonus clip, there is a rather interesting reload animation for the Mosin that has internals being put into it. Number two. Looting your kills too early. You just kill the scab with an SV-98 and a FLIR sight, or a super juicy flare. That's so much money you can make. All you need to do is grab that loot and run, right? Right? Fuck that. You're gonna die immediately. The number one rule of escape from Tarkov is, there's always one more. You're gonna hear that a lot. You're more than likely fighting a team at all times, so be sure to look for that teammate and play things safe. You killed something. Good job. Make sure the area's clear, and then you're safe. I didn't have any footage for this, but don't fucking at me. Number one. Name yourself Josh Posh TV. I'm kidding. Number one, stop wearing the fucking coal pack. Oh my god. Coming from other games like DayZ, PUBG, Rust, or any other loot based survival or arena shooter, you'd think that any headgear is better than none. This is hilariously untrue in EFT. When wearing a helmet in this game, you have to consider its benefits versus its drawbacks. The coal pack, Jetta, firefighter helmet, and tank helmet all have an armor class level 2 or less. They affect your movement and turning speed, and they don't allow you to wear a headset to improve your audio cues. With sound being one of the most important aspects of this game, wearing armor that literally doesn't stop 97% of bullets in this game and gets rid of your ability to hear is a big no-no. Let's talk about the Alton for a second. The Alton is one of the best helmets in the game. You can't hear shit while wearing one compared to someone wearing a U-lock and having a headset, but you're trading the ability to hear for the ability to tank more and better bullets. The Alton has an armor class of level 5 for both the visor and the helmet compared to the class of level 2 of all the previously mentioned helmets. Is the Alton impenetrable? No, but it's going to do a hell of a lot more than a coal pack. If you're going to shoot bullets and wear armor, you're always going to want to be shooting the best bullets and using the best armor. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and a like. It helps out more than you know in terms of analytics and the YouTube algorithm. If you have any other ideas about things that new players do that you find funny or entertaining, let me know down in the comments. I plan on making this a series. If this video or any of my other dumb videos entertain you, feel free to subscribe. I'm pushing for 400 subs by the end of March 2020. Also, if you're watching this video the day that I upload it, I'm live every single day over at twitch.tv slash joshposhtv. Links for that, Twitter, and Discord are down in the description. Go click them and hang out with us sometime. Thanks again, guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your week. Bye-bye.